by pretending that we are uh, mindless matter, we are just material and that's it, we are excluding the finer aspects of life. We are excluding the finer aspects of our experience. And this is very serious business. If you take Darwinian theory, which says that we're in a competition and we have to compare each other as to where we fit, and you mix that with a Newtonian vision from physics that the primacy of the universe is found in the physical structure. And then you put those two together and you say, well, how do you know where you fit in the Darwinian world? And the answer is, how much material do you own? And so, evolution of humanity since Newtonian times was to extract the material from the planet so that we could have possessions. And that the possessions then were a reflection of where we stand in the hierarchy. If you are very low in the hierarchy of human life, you have nothing. If you're very high in the hierarchy of human life, you have money and possessions and houses and toys and all these things. So then you say, well, then who suffers from all this? Well, there's great suffering at every level, whether it's suffering in the physical planet or in the human civilization, there's suffering all over. In order for me as a human to prove my hierarchy, I have to extract the material from the planet. So what do I do? I mine the planet. I rape the planet of all of its possessions so that I can hold in my hand this chunk of gold and say, see how much I am worth, where is your gold?